Uh, looking around here, I realize a lot of old lawyers around. I, uh, I remember starting practice when Chuck's dad was on the bench, so it's been a while. Israel, also known as AC, AKA Ace Strip. Wow. Uh, an immigrant to the United States, uh, fleeing from Nazi Germany. Uh, Ace eventually came to the Ohio State University from New Jersey in the mid-1950s and made Central Ohio his home. He claims that the first bed he ever slept in alone, he didn't have to share with family members, was his bed at OSU. After graduation from the Ohio State University College of Law, that was before they sold the naming rights, uh, Ace hooked up with a classmate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One of my pet peeves. Uh, that was uh, Ace hooked up with George Lias, uh, his classmate and friend, to form the predecessor of our current firm, which has been renamed many times. Uh, Ace likes to advertise the fact that we are the first legal professional association in the state. That's because George Lias wanted to be first, so he had a young lawyer camped on Ted Brown, I remember him, Ted Brown's doorstep uh, the first day it was legal to, uh, to file one, so uh, I was the young lawyer. Okay, most members of the bar are aware of Ace because of his total inability to maintain a low profile in anything that he does. I'm, I'm not telling him any jokes because he's already done it. Yeah. There was a time when John Huddy of the Dispatch would call the office to see if there was anything new for his column. Ace's work to improve the community and to enhance the image of our profession. Uh, list a few of the interesting things he's done. In uh, the mid-60s, Ace volunteered with the American Bar Association Project on uh, Indian Reservation Legal Affairs. And he spent several years uh, visiting uh, reservations throughout the West trying to improve uh, legal representation. Again, in the 1960s, he was served as one of the early presidents of the Columbus Legal Aid so Society. Uh, he also worked on the ABA Committee to enhance uh, legal aid throughout the country. In the late 1960s, he was named one of Columbus J.C.'s 10 outstanding young men in central Ohio. In the 1970s, he was appointed trustee of the Public Library of Columbus and Franklin County and helped our library uh, become one of the leaders nationwide in the move to computerize uh, card catalogs. I still miss those little cards. In the late 1980s, Ace decided that put his toe into the political arena, so he ran for Dublin City Council. He served two terms there as part of the transition team that uh, helped change Dublin from a small bedroom community uh, into a growth center of its own as it is today, attracting new business and a tax base which could support many of the community services. Uh, rumor has it that at that time, Ace was the only member of council who could read a balance sheet. I don't know whether it's true or not. Everyone knows he's a confirmed jokester. He's been known to entice audiences to sing happy birthday to Jack Masser, uh, and then reveal to the audience that Jack wasn't there. He was a friend back home, and he just recorded uh, 200 people singing happy birthday to Jack. Uh, of course, Ace is also well known for his trick that I'm not sure he can do anymore. Uh, speaking engagements, he would often remove his vest without removing his suit coat. That, that's a hard one for anybody to do. Well, a few years ago, Ace had a triple bypass. Later, I had only a double, so now he tells me I owe him one. Uh, my hospital stay, by the way, gave him a great story about being my partner. Uh, in addition to all the community services, Ace has maintained a very active legal practice. Uh, he's our rainmaker. He's found time to devote many hours to uh, mediation as part of settlement week in uh, federal and common pleas courts. And during all this, he maintains a high uh, professional uh, attitude uh, in dealing with, with his peers, with the general public, with the courts. A little known aspect of ACE's activities is a service he performs representing local attorneys without compensation, much to his partner's dismay. Uh, in many different uh, embarrassing financial situations. Uh, I'm not advertising for more business like that, but uh, 
He's, he's well known by it. Finally, throughout the years, Ace has maintained a high degree of professionalism in our office. His personal dress code <coughs> requires the wearing of a necktie in all professional situations for many years to the dismay of his partners who would indulge in dress down days. Ace doesn't come out on Fridays anymore, so Friday is dress down day. Uh, he has relented on his personal dress code only for the Michigan game Fridays when we have competed for the most avid, read, outrageous uh, OSU ensemble. He's the, the old school that feels you can't display professionalism if you're dressed like a, a carpenter or a tennis player. His professionalism also stands to the value of his word as an attorney. He takes great pride in the fact that local judges and attorneys have accepted his word that matters would be found as he promised in any representation that he personally has made. And that means a lot uh, to me and to our partners. In summary, Ace continues to come to the office every day except Friday, continues to put us all to shame and hours billed and clients attracted. He also continues to do his best to enhance the profession he loves. Unfortunately, he rides a motorcycle at his age. You know, it's terrible. It's been a privilege to be associated with him in the practice since 1968. We've been together 42 years, and he reminds me now and then that I spend more waking hours with him than I do with my wife. Uh, I will never work as hard as Ace does. It's just not in me to do that, uh, and, and few of us ever will. Uh, Ace has filled the role of a sibling I never had, and we continue to argue like brothers every day. Ace Strip. <laughs>